everybody, welcome to another Too Many Notes. This one is for directors. The rest of you are welcome to hang around as I uh, tell the directors something they might not want to hear. You may get a little bit of joy out of this. Directors, I need to be honest with you. I remember so many things about working with a variety of different directors at a variety of different levels, all the way from singing in church choir when I was five years old, all the way up through having John Williams conduct uh, the Tanglewood Symphony chorus and orchestra and and I have to say that one of the resounding predominant moods that I remember are stern directors, angry directors, mean directors, people who are like, no you got it wrong, no you need to do this this way. And I have to say everything that I've studied and learned since then tells me that that is exactly the wrong way to be. Now why? Because football teams and football coaches, you take no prisoners, you go in there for the jugular. You need your math teachers to tell you, no, this is wrong, no, that's wrong. And yet music is different. Music involves emotion. And if you want to have a group of people be able to be open, if you want them to be able to share fully who they are, you need to create an environment in which openness is a possibility. I don't know if my words are getting through to you. Let me go back to the, one of the greatest philosophers of all time, Asa. Tell you my favorite Aesop's fable. See if this gets through. So, my favorite Aesop's fable. The sun and the wind, they were chatting and one day they made a bet. Who's stronger? And they saw a man walking with his coat on and they decided this will be the ultimate test of their powers. Who can get the coat off the dude? The wind started and went full force. Gale winds blowing everything. Trees are getting ripped out of the ground, flying all over. I mean, you, you've seen the footage on the weather channel. And didn't matter how ever hard the wind was blowing, the man just held the coat tighter and tighter around himself. Even as he's picked up and dragged along in the wind, the coat stayed on because he was making sure he had his coat. Then it was the sun's time. The clouds parted, the sun shone down. And the man took the coat off himself. Boom. I love this Aesop's fable because it says so many things about what I think directors need to do. You need to self-motivate your singers to learn their music, to get things right. Yelling is not gonna get you anything other than defensiveness, frustration. You may be able to motivate people a short amount of time through fear, but ultimately it backfires on you because then they're not going to tell you the next time they don't know the notes. They're not going to let you know if there's something that's standing in their way. They're going to be afraid of being called out. And when you've got a choir of 20 people, 50 people, 100 people, you can't police all of that. You need them to be telling you what they need. You need them to be coming to you when they make mistakes. Mistakes should never be something that generates fear. Mistakes should be an opportunity for the singers to reach out to you to figure out what they can do better. So what does this mean? How should you be as a director then if you're not fearful, if you're not the maniacal tyrant? on the hill. Well, as far as I'm concerned, every time you're directing, you're performing. You're in front of a group of people and you want to get them to feel a certain way. You want to get them to express and you want to get them to be open. You, when you walk into your rehearsal room, are performing. You're on stage. If you had a bad day, you take a moment before you walk in that rehearsal room. If you're feeling really frustrated at something else, you got to leave that behind. You're asking your singers to leave it behind. You're asking them to bring all of themselves intellectually, interpersonally, socially, and emotionally to that rehearsal. So you you need to do the same. Leave it at the door, walk into the room with the energy that you want from them. A positive energy, a focused energy, and it, there needs to be a measure of enthusiasm from you. So if you're walking in and you're like, all right guys, don't test me today, I haven't had my coffee. What you're immediately doing is you're changing the energy of that room. They may have walked in, they're excited about rehearsal, but now their number one job is going to be try to avoid your wrath. That should never be the job of a singer. That should never be the role of a director. So. Create openness in your rehearsals, no yelling. And, and if you do, here's the thing, I don't expect you to be perfect, none of us are perfect, but if you do, then just let people know like, oh, I'm so sorry, I was having a bad day last time, it's not the way I wanna run a rehearsal. When you admit your own mistakes, you create an environment in which the singers realize that those kind of things are okay. And I realize this may come across as my West Coast hippie, like let's all hug and love and teach the world to sing philosophy. But let me tell you, this isn't a sporting event. This isn't winner take all, this is music. And if we want beautiful, open, warm, completely emotionally connected music, you as a director also need to be beautiful and warm and emotionally connected. So try your next rehearsal. See how it works. Use the carrot more than the stick. Try to motivate your singers to be better singers, to come to you when they don't have something exactly right. Change the room for the better, and I think you'll find much better results out of your singing group. Hope this works for you. See you next time.